I heard someone got shot at the Matsugani family office last night. Yeah. Was it someone you knew? Nah, just a name I'd heard. Wait, were you actually worried about me? No, not at all. Okay. I've talked to him. I don't want to see Wanderbot in a suit with fake hair art now. Uh, you mean like me? Me as a human being cosplaying as Phoenix Wright? Or just a Wanderbot in a lawyer outfit? Because honestly, what I should do is sit down and do uh, fan art of shelling myself as Phoenix and, uh, and Maya. Because we're planning on doing the other two games at some point, too. Hey, Yagami. Are you butting heads with Hamura? He called me to complain about it. Said to keep your nose out of his case. Oh, sorry about that. Fine by me. Just wanted to make sure you're okay. I'm good. He's a little preoccupied now anyway. There was a shooting at the Matsugani family office. Yeah, I heard. This damn city gets rougher every day. At some point, I need to sit down and do some, like, serious fan art. I don't know when, though. I heard someone got shot at the Matsuki. Yeah. Was it someone? No, nah, wait. No. Okay, so their dialogue's on loop. Now, here's a question. Supposedly, there's a board of side quests in here that I can do. At least I thought there was. Huh. Is there not? Does anybody remember? I have no idea. I mastered the VR game yet. I've only done one round. I don't generally do a whole lot of side content, honestly, when I play video games. Um, not unless I absolutely need to. Main reason is, it's not really good for my, uh, well, let's see, wasn't that the board at your office? I wasn't sure if it's all the board at my office or if there's other other boards. Cause I can get I can get uh missions from Tender, my own office, and uh Genda's office. At least I thought, but maybe not? I I don't know. Anyway, uh what was I gonna say? Right, I don't generally do a whole lot of side content if I can avoid it, because it takes a while, and really, like, adds a lot of extra time and duration to the game. Which, normally, for, for most people, probably that doesn't matter too much, but every chapter in this game is about three hours long. Uh, I might as well do this one. And that means, like, 12 chapters... Mm -hmm. That puts me at about 30-something hours just to beat this game on its own without the side content. Huh? What is that? Some weird bird? No. My mic stand was starting to wobble. That was some hair. Really now? And stay down. Uh did it disappear? Oh no, there it is. Hmm. What is this? Th that's hmm? mine! Huh? Oh. Wait! Ouch! Ah, uh, uh, shit! Excuse me. Not now! Hey, you okay, man? Yeah, I think I sprained my ankle. More importantly, my hat! Hat. That was most certainly a wig. 
I'm sorry, but you have to go after it, please. Say what? It's an emergency. I, I don't know what I'll do without it. I'll pay you. Come on, help a brother out. Ugh, fine. One thing I feel I missed out on was the skill to lift heavy items. Oh my god. <laughs> are you... Are you serious? What the hell? I can't believe this. How is this a thing? Wait a sec. How is this a side quest? And I will admit, like, I do really like the side content in this game. It's pretty fun. It's just, there's a lot of it. And good God, I would like to finish this game before all of the views on YouTube dry up. Capture the hat? That was pretty great, though. <laughs> Glad I wasn't drunk for that one, though. Ooh, finally got it. Ah, ah, sorry, it's a really fast hat. That was pretty crazy, man. Here. Thank you! Uh, aren't you gonna wear it? Nah, I can't put it on when anyone's watching. Which brings me to my next point. Do I look familiar to you? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do feel like I recognize you. Uh, I guess you'll find out when you turn on the TV. You mind letting me explain real hmm? quick? Sure. No one's looking, right? Mm -hmm. Not that I can tell. All right, here it goes. That wind was rather mis mischievous, eh? Feel downright teased. Perhaps my old friend, the wind, got jealous of how much sunlight I've been taking in lately. What a cat. Why is he suddenly acting like a different person? Oh, what a heel I've been. I should introduce myself. I'm Toya Tukunaga, the idol. Huh? You're an idol? Oh, you don't know me? Here, I was here. I was thinking I was famous. <laughs> the rumors are to be believed. Toya Tokunaga is a fire beneath this curtain, subset of every woman's desire. Uh oh. So I see. So, who might you be? You got a mean sprint. I'm Yagami. I run a private eye business in Yag uh, in Kamurocho. Well, I do apologize for taking you into such a place as this, Yagami-san. My face is such a well-known commodity, I can't let people see me like this. I guess that's understandable. But I do have a favorite ask. Can I? Can you keep the hat a secret? Toya Tokunaga is a singing and dancing idol with silky smooth hair that flits about in the breeze. People who find out my silky locks were just a hat. It's fine. Your secret's safe, safe with me. Thanks for your cooperation, man. This is a token of my gratitude. Not hush money or anything. Anyway, I'm due for a taping right now. We shall meet again through the magic of TV. He came in like a gale, left like a breeze. God damn, people are just chucking money at me. I love this. <laughs> All right. Now prog plot progress question mark. And eh, who am I kidding? I'm going to have to fight some thugs. Yep. Oh, but they left me in the best possible location. For death and destruction. Excuse me, sir. 
How do you feel about a smashed everything? I didn't really hear a no. What a waste. Yep, he's dead. Probably, probably dead. If not dead, pretty damn injured. <laughs> With the money people are chucking at you. Snacks! Yeah, I gotta stop at a popo and pick up some more. But yeah, I started this session with like 180 grand, and I've like doubled it just by doing random shit for people. Like, there's absolutely a reason to do side content in this game. I won't deny. It's just a matter of like, time. Excuse me, sir. You're in the way of bike-based justice. Sup? <laughs> that look of fear. He knew what was coming. He knew. And stay down. The other nice thing is I more or less get enough snack money just by beating up thugs, so I'm pretty much always running a net positive. Okay, is it... No, it's not this door. Uh, oh, we're going down to Higashi. Well... As usual. I think I already had a tuna, didn't I? I don't really remember. What's up? Yagami. What what are you doing here? Just here to chat. To chat? If Captain Hamura knew this, he'd... What? Never mind. Don't gotta worry about that now. He's in no position to be coming after you anymore. You mean because of the shooting? Yeah, it really shook him up. He's been MIA ever since that night. Went into hiding even before the cops came. So, what do you want? Don't just stand there. You're a guest. Take a seat. <sighs> Sounds like the family's a mess right now. Got that right. The office is crawling with cops. Gonna head over there myself once I'm done with this. Why? I gotta shore up the defensive line. The whole family's on duty for this shit. Right. I'm just wondering. Why'd the Kyori decide to come after you now? They've been pretty quiet. It's obvious. Their second command's in town and ready for war. Took the train up from Kansai and everything. Who's this guy? Name's Satoshi Shioya. The guy's a natural-born fighter. And soon enough, he'll be chairman. And he's the one who ordered the shooting? No doubt. Though he was targeting Hamura, not Kurimoto. What makes you say that? Take a look at this. It's a shot of Kurimoto right after the shooting. Ugh. Tough to look at. Man got bullets through both eyes. That's not what I want to show you. Look at his clothes. Hmm? His clothes? What about them? The captain was wearing the same jacket yesterday. Wait. They're about the same age, and they look the same from behind, too. Safe to say, the captain knows who they were really after. So the Kyori attack was meant for Hamra specifically, not the Tojo clan. Explains why he went into hiding so quick. <laughs> Funny how this all worked out. You don't look very worried. If the Kyori are gunning for Captain Hamura, why wouldn't they go for the guys who set him free, too? What, you think they're coming for me? Nah. If anything, Shintani's the one who should worry. After all, he was Hamura's lawyer. Yeah. He won't stand a chance with Yakuza gunning for him. If I were you, I'd at least give him a heads up. New info. Kind of meaningless. I 
I do really like the pacing on this game, too. Like I said, there's kind of never a dull moment. Oh. Like, like I said, never a dull moment. Kim-san? How's my favorite know-it-all doing? Good? Who is this? Sasai, you know, from the Kahin game. And you're calling me why? Yakubi-san, do not listen to him. Oh, shut your mouth. Kim-san, you okay? You want to see your friend alive again? Get your ass over here. That bastard. Shintani is going to have to wait. I need to help Kim-san. Yeah, like I said, no dull moments. Like, even running around, the timing on the enemy spawns is almost perfect. It's very strange. My god! It's like it wants to prove my point. Excuse me, Goto. Stay down, please. I must deal with your goons. Okay, I've dealt with your goons. Now please stay down further. Can I kick him while he's down? I can kind of kick him while he's down. There we go. But it's like... It's like... Actually... I'm not going to say mathematically... Uh, driven or anything like that. But like... I don't think I've ever played a game paced as well as this, to some degree. With maybe the exception of God of War. Usually with games, traveling kind of sucks and is boring. There's not anything that's going on. See, thanks to Wander, I've seen so many games I want. Spot Iron Rain. Hey, have fun! I think your finisher with the bike should look different, right? Maybe. I actually don't know on that one. Oh, hey, uh, we should probably go in here and grab a snack. I got smacked around a little bit. Oh, and I should refill on other snacks, too. Um, Iron Rain was fun. I might see if I... Oh, man. I might bug my friends and see if they'd uh, be willing to do some, like, Iron Rain with me someday. Or EDF 5. Or 4. Hell, I don't care. Okay, so let's get some... Let's get some beef tongue. Uh... But, like, most games when you're just traveling from point A to point B, it gets pretty boring. You know, in Pokemon, you get mobbed by Zubats, or there's a trainer that you really don't feel like fighting or whatever. And it's usually not that big of a deal, but it is kind of one of those, like, noticeable things. That, like, the pacing is kind of wonky. You can be running around and have, like, just long stretches of pure travel, followed by long stretches of just inundation by by Zubats or Tentacles or whatever. I'd say I play on the PS4, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have an Xbox, but I don't usually use it. Let's see. This looks like too much of a regular bar for me. It gives you super big vibes of Sleeping Dogs. Yeah. Except for Sleeping Dogs, as much as I liked that game... Oh, Tender has a uh, side quest for me. Uh, what we want to do is head for... I want to go to a popo. Is that a popo? That might be a popo. It seems pretty small. Oh. What's that? Oh, Matsugani family office. Yeah, can't go in there. Unsurprisingly. I'm gonna try heading down this direction. This is like sleeping dogs. Um, but without a lot of the extra, like, fluff thrown in. Because I loved Sleeping Dogs, but there was a lot of moments where you were just driving around the city to get to your next quest, quest mission, and it got kind of boring. And this one, okay, yeah, I am, I am running across town, but it takes, like, 30 seconds to travel, you know, the maximum distance. And that actually feels really good. Nope, this is this is a fast food place. Dang it. Well, can I buy any, anything anyway? Yeah, I can't get any more. Yeah, there's no stamina drain, so you just keep going. And 
Yeah, Sleeping Dogs was like GTA fillers. It, sleeping Sleeping Dogs main um, but uh, no, it's a smile burger. The hell's a popo? Oh, that's a popo, down on Tenkaichi Street. I'm looking at restaurants. I should be looking at markets. There we go. Egg burger looks good. Yeah. Oh, we got a really good place that has a uh, a fried egg burger around here. Now I want it, even though I've eaten out like way too much. I had sushi twice on Sunday. And we went out for Indian yesterday. I, I can't eat out anymore for a while. Luckily, Shell's cooking is pretty damn good, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we wanna... We wanna... Just stock up on... Bean paste buns. Um... Let's see, anything else? Pizza buns. Sounds kinda huh to me, but... Might be good. I guess I've had a pizza pocket before. I already got the album from him. Well, that's fine. I just wanted to stock up on miscellaneous healing items so I can, well, survive. But, like, I've seen a number of games that have been handling this really well lately. God of War I was bringing up. It has its slow moments, but it's almost always filled by uh, dialogue, you know, lore, the characters talking to each other, or just some interesting thing going on in the background, as long as you're not backtracking too much. Yakami san, I'm so sorry. Mm. I forgot how much you pissed me off, know it all. And I forgot how dumb you look, so we might as well call it even. What was that? So. This is our guy, huh? I've heard a lot about you, Yagami-san. Rumor has it you're a skilled little skull buster. Uh, thanks? The name's Honda. Renji Honda from the Kagan game. Pleased to meet you. Honda, shut up and help us kick his ass already! Help you? Come on, boys! doing I was looking forward to this fight not gonna waste it by just dogpiling the guy be glad to give you a taste too if you disagree hey what's your deal just want to fight you that's all huh that's the whole reason I joined the Kayin locking fists with tough bastards like you so come on Let's tango. Sorry, but I really don't have time for this. Fighting's the only thing that keeps the world spinning, Yagami-san. I know you agree. <sighs> now, enough talk. I'm ready for some fun! I just wish this guy didn't look creepy as shit. Fun! <laughs> Maximum fun! Are you having fun yet? Wait, is that a God Hand reference? Did they make a God Hand reference with this guy? They did! Gonna get closer? Thank you. Nope. Dang it. Wow. That, he hits like trucks. Alright. Well. I guess I'll have to go buy more Odin in a little while. Well. Damn. There we go.
No, we got to see the inside of Yagami's <laughs> face. You're even beefier than I'd heard. This is freaking great. I'm not too big on fighting for no reason, though. Oh, yeah? Look like you were having fun to me. You're a natural born fist flinger. But. I think we're done here. What? Random bystander phoned the coppers on us. They'll be here any second. Go. What about your fight? I thought that's what keeps the world spinning. <laughs> Can't exactly fight you if you're rotting away behind bars. Let's go. Yakami san, hurry. Uh, okay. Hey, that was a real hoot. Let's do it again sometime, Yakami san. We should be safe now. Who was that guy, Kim-san? You do not know? Oh, that was Honda. One of the Keijin 4. The... what? Oh, 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 it's what they call the four highest ranking members of the Keijin gang. Kasai, Honda, Sakakiba, and Koga. Each of the four has their own faction, and countless thugs doing their dirty work for them. So, there are two more? Yes, and I hear Koga's faction is the strongest of them all. Yes, word on the street is that they line their pockets selling weapons on the black market. Not even the Yakuza are keeping up with how powerful they have become. Well, then let's hope this Koga guy stays far away from us. So sorry. <laughs> I'm afraid it's my fault that they are coming after you. Eh, it's all good. Please, just be careful, Yakimi-san. You too, Kim-san. And yes, the voice actor for Kim is the... I don't know if he's the Cabbages guy, but he's the famous actor with the exact same accent that I've totally forgotten what else he's been in. Depending on where you are in the story and how much time has passed, there may be more Keishin gang members swarming the streets than usual. Red level is present. Your chance of encountering Keihin gang members is higher. People are setting off their uh, fireworks. It's kind of amusing. Uh, hi? Oh, I see. That's just saying I've got a marker to go there. Have I not been to all of these popos? Let's go to that popo. I I'm just going to do a, a quick uh, popo errand run. I just want to pick up, uh, I, I just want to finish off the popo. I'm gonna say quest line, but really you just like max out every popo. I, I think it is. Or was that James Hong? I think it is, yeah. I, I was looking at the voice actor credits. They really picked a, like an all-star cast for this game. Unfortunately, all I hear is like Steam Blob, Steve Blom, James Hong, and so on and so forth. And so, on one hand, I know all the voice acting is really good in this game. On the other hand, I'm also just like, oh yeah, but it's also the same guy as this other one. But that's okay. Okay, so, Alicino. Music fair. Okay. So, let's see. We ran out of Odin. Or at least we burnt a lot of it. That's enough. Worst comes to worst, we can get some sushi sets for the next one. Thanks for stopping by with the purchase you made today. Your point total has gone up by 10. Yep. Apparently, you have a 10 point total. Oh, looks like you've reached 10 points. Congrats. About time, too. Here's your limited edition record, sir. Thanks for shopping with Popo. Come by again soon. Yeah, I figure if we get all of these, it's going to raise my city rep. Uh, we haven't done the marsh yet. I might as well just go chuck some money at things. Oh, hi.
Okay. Bango! My poor bat. I was gonna use that for things. Ow. You know that Odin I just bought? I really should focus on dodging a bit more. At least, as far as I can tell, I can more or less stunlock enemies into corners. Which certainly makes my life easier. Well, that hurt a little bit more. But it's fine, because I'm about to go shopping. Wait. This doesn't look like... This doesn't look like I'm going to be able to buy food in here. What can I buy? The answer is gifts, apparently. 